Hi, welcome back, Lego fan. Uh, this is part two of Lego Cinderella's Dream Castle, where she and Prince Charming create their own castle instead of moving into his parents' place. All right, Cinderella has some very definite ideas about what she wants for her house or her castle. The original Cinderella's Lego castle was the Romantic Castle. But that is where Cinderella met Prince Charming, so it was basically Prince Charming's house. So now they're building their own castle together, and it's beautiful. So, so far we've already built the bedroom. As you can see the bed back there, we've built the kitchen, which is upstairs, and some other rooms. But now, what room do you think we're building now? Here's a big hint for you. Ah, see that crown? Hmm. All right, and now we're putting together some kind of a chair, a seat. Huh, it looks like a pink throne. I think we're putting together the throne room. Awesome. So this throne room is really cute, and because it's part of the build and swap, you can build it and then you can move it around, either downstairs or you can have it be upstairs because look, you can see there's a turret. And so this is part of the castle. So let's see, where are we gonna put this? Hmm, well, Lego tells us we need to put it all the way up on the top of the castle, so there it is. Awesome, all right, Cinderella took over that throne right away. Oops, oh no, she fell down. Better keep that throne. Hey, listen, if you stay tuned all the way to the end, we're gonna show you some of the other build and swap castles in the princess sets. Doesn't that look amazing? It's so fun, so they're Sleeping Beauty's castle. And, but now let's get back to work because now that we built the throne room, we have to build the dining room. Now I like these chairs that we're building because they actually could double as throne seats. They could, just, because there's only one throne room and there's just room for one person on that seat. So you could use this because it's got the crowns on it, not just for a dining room chair, but you could use this also for the throne room. So that's awesome. All right, ooh, there's the little gold frog. Now it's time for the table and some croissants and cookies fit for a prince and princess. And there's some cheese for the mouse. Who's that carrot for? I wonder who's gonna be stopping by. I think you know, there he is. There's the foal. And so this is what the set looks like. You can see the different rooms and we're gonna be comparing this to the Cinderella's Romantic Castle in just a minute, but we want you to see what it looks like when it's all finished. So there's the back of the castle, and there are the different rooms. Looks awesome. I really love how they finished it off. It just has a really nice overall look to it. So this is everything that comes in the set, and this is the back of the castle. And now you can see that it's very modular. You can move these pieces around. I love that. So how about if you want the throne room there instead of all the way up on the top? And it makes sense to put the kitchen on the main floor, doesn't it? I'm not sure I think I, the bedroom on the main floor is the best place, but oh well, they didn't ask me. So anyway, here's what it looks like from outside. It's really pretty, don't you think? Look at that clock. That clock is amazing. I think that clock just looks so classy. And <clears throat> I like in the entryway how you can see through to the dining room table so it looks like somebody's home. Awesome. There it is, Cinderella's dream castle. She and Prince Charming put that together and it looks fantastic. All right. One more long, tall look. This is a very tall castle and it's got some beautiful design features on it. definitely has a more modern sophisticated look to it especially when you look at the um, the clock tower and the windows and everything it's just has a more finished look to it so now let's look at the older Cinderella's romantic castle which is romantic because that's where they met right and it has the swing and it has the apple tree over there and you know it looks nice it has the stairway walking up into the castle and it has the um the water feature i like that with the lily pads and of course there um 
When you look up, they look like lollipop sticks where the pennants are. I don't really like that look. I think it, it definitely looks better in the modern section, but there is, um, there's more room on the balconies in this set, and there's Sylvester the cat and Bruno the dog, so they come with this set, which makes it, I think it makes it nicer. Um, the other set is nice to have the foal and the little mice are cute, but definitely, um, you know, having, having the cat and the dog is, is cool too. So if you take a look, you can see the, the turrets and the pennants just look, I don't know, they just look more professional in this, in the newer set. So as you're looking at it, you kind of have to take the good with the bad. I think that um, outside, this one looks more impressive and it looks prettier. But I think where it falls down is, I do think some of the inside space is not used as well as it could be used. For instance, I'm just gonna give um, my thoughts. I don't really like the bedroom on the downstairs. And I really don't think having the throne room all the way up at the top like that is a very good thing. And the kitchen on the second floor, I definitely don't like that. But the good thing is you can move these things around. And so it kind of helps. But um, I, I think they're, you know, you can't put the bed on the second floor because the bed is too wide. So it's not like you can just take the kitchen out and move the bed upstairs. You can't do that, which is really too bad. However, having the dining room downstairs is definitely nice. It, it definitely looks better because in the old castle, the dining room was very tiny and all it was was a table. It was much smaller. So there are benefits, pluses and minuses to both sets. And so now we're going to turn the older set around and you can see some of the, um, the positives for the way that the layout was. And I think what you do is it has an interesting layout. Um, here is the old Cinderella's glass slipper or representation of a glass slipper. And we're going to compare that to the newer version of Cinderella's glass slipper. So when you put them side by side, you can tell the, the one on the right is the older sort of clunky version and the one on the left just looks prettier and it has the gold around it. It just, you know, has a different look. But I do like um, the fact that you go up the steps and have a place to leave that slipper. That's definitely more playable for the actual Cinderella story. So now let's look at the back part of this castle. I love the fact that the ballroom, the dance floor is right there. And there's the living room with a nice fireplace. But if you look in the corner, that's where the dining room table is. It's not much room. It really was not a very good design. I do like the powder room, you know, the... Um, the dressing room and the bathroom downstairs looks nice, but it's not really the best place to put it. It probably should have been upstairs, right where the um, the dressing room and the bedroom are. That would have been a better use of space. Now, um, also one of the nice things is um, in this castle, it has actually has a, uh, a special room for the cat and it has a special treasure room. So if you go all the way up to the top, there's the cute little room for the cat and you take use the key and you can actually open up the door for the treasure room. I really like that feature even though in the newer set you have the safe where you can keep the valuables. I love the treasure room. I think that's a cool feature for that set. So you know it's just some things are better in the old set as far as room and some things are better in the new set and I think you just have to take the good with the bad and enjoy both of the castles. They're both really pretty and they're both nice and they're both fun to play with. So, like I said, I'm going to turn this into the original parent's castle and I'm going to try to um, figure out how I can make minifigures for the parents of Prince Charming and we'll see how that goes. But so this is, um, this is what you get with the new Cinderella's uh, Dream Castle. So I, I do think it's a great set, it's definitely worth getting. Um, you can see the dance floor in this one is up on the second floor there. I just think that wasn't a great design concept. I think it would have been better if it was down on the main floor, but they had to make choices. You, you can't put everything, you can't have the best design and more of a um, concise layout and a design, but that's okay. It's all good and it's all fun and you can see how pretty the turrets and the pennants look in this particular um, set. And I do think that that one room was kind of a wasted room where we put the flowers. There isn't a whole lot you can do with that room. You could probably put the glass slipper in there. But 
So this gives you an idea what they look like side by side. So you can kind of see, and also the clock on the older set was not as pretty. So side by side, we'll just turn this around for you so you can see what it looks like. There we go, let's turn this around so you can see what they look like side by side. And you have a good sense for this design and how tall it is. It is quite a bit taller than the other one. And I think that's what they were going for was, you know, more height because it looks more impressive and, and stuff. And But with the other one, they were kind of going for that spread out lots of, you know, pieces and lots of room. But that's okay. That's okay. Also, the older set has almost 100 pieces more than the newer set. So they had more room to put things. All right. So hang in there because we are going to show you what it looks like um, now that we have the build and swap feature for the new dream castle which is really cool i love that and i love the old castle too so they're both really nice but we will show you so you can have a sense for how amazing the features are and i think that's what they did was they traded the um swappability for the um for the more expansive room and a little bit more room to run around in. But that's okay because when you see how cool it looks, it really looks awesome. Okay, so here's Sleeping Beauty's castle that's got the A for Aurora, which is pretty. And there's um, Elsa's Frozen Marketplace, I think it is. That's part of the Build and Swap series. And here's Mulan's Training Day, which is also part of the Build and Swap. So you can like move things around, do anything you want with that. And there is Maleficent from Aurora's set. And so you can kind of put those together there. They look nice. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you in a second what happens when you take all these pieces and you just morph it into one giant castle. So you can have like a row of castles, like it's like a, a square of all the princesses living together and having their castles near each other, which is fun. Or you can make one giant, um, morph everything into one giant uh, castle set. But that's the nice... Um, part about there it is there's there's the um, bigger Cinderella castle now if you take some of these pieces off you can swap out and bring over um, some different pieces from the Aurora castle set and oh dear Maleficent is showing up you better watch out Cinderella and Prince Charming that's not a good thing if Mal Maleficent's moving into your castle and if you take the two turret pieces there you can um, put something else so you can move it around and you can see the the pink and the lavender and the gr the gray and the white, they all look good together. So that's kind of fun is that they designed them so that the colors are compatible and they, they look as though they go together, as though it's like one giant set, which is really fun. And I think that looks really nice. So move that one around and what are you gonna put there? Let's see, oh, you're gonna put the spinning wheel room. Oh, the sewing room there. Because it does look cool. They, because of the turrets being navy blue like that, it fits. They all fit together and they look really nice. So you can see how fun it, it is to have the build and swap. It's a great play feature. Have a wonderful day building your Legos.